The theory of evolution is overwhelmingly accepted and supported by the scientific community. And that acceptance and support comes about for a very good reason. And that is, in the near 150 years since Darwin first described the theory of evolution, an overwhelming amount of evidence has piled up, many of it from unexpected directions, that has brilliantly supported his original idea. And today we see that evolution is supported by paleontology, by physiological evidence, by genetics, and increasingly by the new fields of molecular biology and genome analysis. And within the scientific community, what people have seen is that as new techniques and new tools and new ways of looking at things have come online, they've increasingly provided depth and a greater understanding to all of us as to how the theory of evolution is applicable to the data that we see in nature. So the support for evolution within the scientific community is absolutely overwhelming, and the reason for that is because the evidence in favor of evolution is equally overwhelming. One of the things that critics of evolution often like to say is that, well, evolution's never been proven, and that's absolutely true. And the reason for that is that science is not in the business of proving things. I think it's fair to say that science is actually in the business of disproving things. And what scientists do is to place a hypothesis on the table and design experiments or look for observations that might support, tend to support or tend to refute that hypothesis. If the hypothesis is contradicted by experimental evidence or by observations, we throw it out. We consider it to be disproven. Evolution has stood on the table for almost 150 years. People have probably worked harder to disprove evolution than any single other idea in all of science. And despite the best efforts of a century and a half, it's still standing. Now that doesn't mean that evolution is proven, because no idea, no scientific theory is ever considered to be proven or to be true beyond dispute. That's the nature of science. Skepticism is the first virtue of a scientist. But in those 150 years, not a single observation, not a single piece of experimental evidence has been unearthed or has come about that has contradicted the theory of evolution. And that's why it has the high scientific standing that it does. One of the things that people often misunderstand about science is they think that a scientist makes their career by producing evidence that supports established theories. In reality, nothing is more boring than the outcome of an investigation that merely supports the status quo. Young scientists in particular realize that the surest way to get fame and fortune and to advance their ideas is to upset the apple cart, is to disprove an established existing theory. And if I or any other scientist were able to get genuine, solid, important experimental evidence that would overturn the theory of evolution, it would make us famous. It would be an extraordinary thing. I think we can trust the process of science to weed out the bad ideas for the very simple reason is that the process of weeding out bad ideas can bring one fame and fortune. And therefore, we expect eventually scientists, science to throw out the ideas that don't work. Evolution, despite a century and a half of effort, has withstood that test of time.